of a new mini, a new original. Meet the new, not so mini, Mini. The third generation of the BMW Mini has grown in almost every direction. It's four inches longer and almost two inches wider. But more importantly than that, it actually looks bigger. And if we're honest, a bit, well, fatter. I'm really not sure about this new bulbous nose or this slightly sort of mouth, particularly on this Cooper S. With every generation that goes by, the BMW gets further and further away from the elegant simplicity of their 2001 original. Inside the Evolution continues, it is bigger and the trunks are full 30% more capacious. The architecture is instantly familiar, but you'll notice that here the centralized speedo that was a signature feature of the 2001 car is missing, replaced by this infotainment system. The quality is good and it's a nice place to be, but you just feel that with every generation that, that character is just leading away. The standard Cooper is now supplied with a 1.5 litre three cylinder turbo engine developing 134 horsepower. Or you can opt for this Cooper S with a 2 litre turbocharged 4 and 189 horsepower. There's a choice of either a six speed manual or a six speed automatic gearbox. And for the first time on a Mini, you can have adaptive damping as BMW tries to retain the agile, nimble handling that made the Mini famous. For all its familiarity, this is a genuinely new car and the platform will also spawn a future generation of front-wheel drive BMWs. It's on sale next March, priced from around 20 A new Mini, a new original. Meet the new, not so Mini, Mini. The third generation of the BMW Mini has grown in almost every direction. It's four inches longer and almost two inches wider, but more importantly than that, it actually looks bigger and if we're honest a bit well fatter. I'm really not sure about this new bulbous nose or this slightly sort of mouth particularly on this Cooper S. With every generation that goes by the BMW gets further and further away from the elegant simplicity of their 2001 original. Inside the Evolution continues it is bigger and the trunks are full 30% more capacious. The architecture is instantly familiar but you'll notice that here the centralized speedo that was a signature feature of the 2001 car is missing replaced by this infotainment system. The quality is good and it's a nice place to be but you just feel that with every generation that, that character is just leading away.